Hello, good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining. We're going to get started in a couple of seconds, but I appreciate your attendance, joining on time. Thank you, Evelyn Jamilet. Susan. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Miss. Thank you, Miss Evelyn Jamilet, for answering. Miss Susana Carolina, welcome. Miss Jennifer Beatriz Mejia, all of you are really welcome. And it is uh, almost the time in a couple of seconds we are going to get started, okay? And congratulations because some of you have already uh, started your work on the platform. That is so glad and reconforting for me, okay? So uh, I'm going to start sharing my PPT as every single day that we have been meeting here in class, okay? And then we are going to get started because we have too many things to do today. So here we go. While the others join, I'm going to start presenting here. Today is September 11th, and it is our class number four, correct? Okay. So in our agenda, we have the welcoming, what I did at the beginning. I'm going to share the objective for today's lesson. And in the information that I need to share with you, because this is what is going to be about the class. You're going to be providing personal information. You are going to identify the elements of a job interview. Uh, also, I expect that you write a conversation using the elements of a simple interview and you are going to um, simulate that. One of you is the interviewer and the other one is the interviewee. One is ap applying for the job position and the other one is probably um, a person representing the human resources department. And you are going to fulfill a job application. So remember, this is what I was telling you about homeworks and evaluations. It is a reminder that you need to get at least 80% okay, as an average in the homeworks and evaluations in order to get your diploma. You know that the homeworks and evaluations are already uh, for you available on the platform, learning platform, Plataforma de Aprendizaje. And remember that it is good. And congratulations because I was checking before the class and some of you have 80% and 90% of the, of the work on the platform, that's great. Because remember that today is our class number four. So by tomorrow, our day number five, section one must be over. There is no test in section one, unit one. So um, if there is somebody who by any reason has not downloaded the manual, it is available for you on the platform. And here we have the requirements. What is expected? The spirit. K of the academy. I need one of you to help me reading this. A reminder, as a reminder, everyday reminder of the requirements from INSA Forp and from Inglés Corporativo. You have to read it in Spanish because the slide is in Spanish, the information, okay? One volunteer to read this in Spanish. Hello? Only one volunteer. Okay, okay thank you so much, uh, Andre, please. Ok, el requerimiento es nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma. En caso de oyentes, agregar la palabra oyente luego de su nombre. Cámara encendida durante toda la sesión. Minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible y participación activa. Excellent, great. Thank you so much. So you see, this is the spirit and that is why it is necessary that you write your full name on the camera, ok? because it is a requirement from ISAFARP. And then we have here uh, the information related to attendance. It is expected that you get 100% of the classes. It means 120 minutes every session, not less, not more. Or more better if you join earlier or if you stay with me 10 minutes after the class. And remember, I'm going to call your names in order to take your attendance twice approximately at 8.20 and at 
And remember that it is going to be effective or valid when you say presente, present, here I am, here, or um, anyways. But you have to activate your microphone. And the one-on-one -on -one sessions are available for the students, okay, in order to have a meeting with me to reinforce reading, maybe pronunciation, grammar, or vocabulary. I'm going to be very glad uh, staying with you, helping you. This is the expectation, everybody with the camera on, the microphone off, so we can listen to the other participants respectfully. Camera on, the two chats available via WhatsApp and via Zoom, the breakout rooms available for all the activities we're going to uh, develop in class, and the ask for help bottom. If I am monitoring another group, you know that you can call me. And above all, respect, okay? One another, the way that you address the others, the language that you use, and no shouting, no yelling, ah, no, okay? Because we are in a virtual classroom. And then here we have that tomorrow is September the 12th. So that is why I am telling you guys that you need to finish your section one for week number one, okay? And I congratulated the ones that have been working on the platform, okay? But everybody must be over tomorrow. And then here, I need another participant Ooh, to help me read. Hold it, please. There is a, one issue over The screen is kind of different. I don't know if it was updated or what. Hold it. Where is it? It is over here. Yes, but this one. Oy, I need to. Mm. Okay, hold it. This is the one. Oy, because, uh, okay, let me see here. I need to check out this because you are not going to be reading twice the same thing. Okay. Here, here, here. Yeah, that's it. Now it is ready as you can see. And one volunteer, please, to help the teacher read this information. Who's going to help me? Only one. Okay. Me, teacher. Thank you so much. I'm going to magnify it for you, miss. Please go ahead. Objectives. General objective. Participants will find will fill in a job application by providing a specific information related to work experience. A specific objective. Participants will be able to provide a specific information related to work experience. Class objective. At the end of the class, participants will be able to ask and answer questions providing a specific information related to work experience. Excellent. Very well. Thank you so much. Great. And so this is the, the main objective, okay? And the specific objective is that you provide a specific information related to your work experience. And at the end, you are going to be able to ask and answer questions providing a specific information associated or related to your work experience, what I was telling you uh, when I greeted you at the beginning, okay? And then this is part of the feedback. If you remember class, we were working um, on this material about the benefits that you provide to uh, your company. Then we were working also last week with the uses of would be and could be, and you were organizing these words in a logical and coherent way to provide uh, the sentences in the correct word order. And then we were working over here, if you remember, okay? Have you occupied different positions at your workplace? And we practice this conversation, you switch roles, and you answer the questions. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, and in here, we were working also last week on how to use time expressions, yes? And the expressions were four things from, from to and long. And you were working on the completion of this paragraph, yes? Using these prepositions of time, time expressions. Is that okay? 
Yes? Okay. Now, let me see. Okay, congratulations. We're going to continue working and I'm going to share the manual. Thanks for joining class. Here we go. Okay, this is what we were saying that you were working on. I'm going to use this because I can magnify it, okay? And I can write on it. But now here, the purpose of this session, as I told you in the objective class, is to fill in a job application and also that you provide the specific information related to your work experience. In order to get started, let's begin by asking and answering these questions. We are working at page, if you can see, 15. And then only these questions. Forget about exercise number two because that is going to be a deeper experience. Have you applied for a job position recently? What specific information about your work experience can you provide? Can you give when you are um, applying for a job position? Remember that in your resume or CV, you have to mention your work experience and the different positions that you have already um, had in different uh, companies. Is that okay? Yes? So I'm going to transfer you class to the breakout rooms so, so can you can ask your partners, have you applied for a job position recently? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Okay. What specific information about your work experience can you provide? For example, what is the information that you can give or share in a in an application or in a job interview? And then you decide which one, okay? So these two questions you ask and answer in the breakout rooms. Are the instructions clear? Yes, more or less, or no? The instructions are clear what you're going to do in the breakout rooms? I lost the connectivity. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm, I'm, yes, teacher. I thank you. I was really concerned and I was, oh, my God, I lost the connectivity. My internet is not working. So I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms, correct? But before we go over, I oh know because it is too early in order to call your attendance and also to take the picture. So, okay, here we go. Mm. You know that the platform is the one that creates the, the groups, yeah, not me. But if you want to work with someone special, you tell me because you feel more comfortable with that kind of, uh, you know, personality, you tell me. And here we go. And you tell me via direct chat, okay? Let's see. In team number one, we have five participants. Team number two, five. Team number three, five. Team number four, we have four participants. And in team number five, also five participants, okay? When the others join, let me see, okay. I'm going to ask them to join one group. Right now, I'm going to share with you the invitation. Okay, go to your groups. Join your groups if you are so nice, please. And ask and answer the two questions. Okay, go to your groups. Eduardo, go to your group. Andre, please. Yvonne. Jill, Yvonne. I need Andre in group number two with Carlos Enrique, Daniel Ernesto, and Evelyn Jamilet. Thank you. Uh, Yvonne, Jill Yvonne, please join group number three. 
And Miss uh, Ana Cristina, are you in? Yes, Miss Ana Cristina. Go to group number two. Hello. Hola, hola. Hola. Hello, hello. Okay, let's see. Here in group number one, we have, okay, hold it because there are some of your partners who are joining right now. Let me check. Yes. Okay. Here in this group, you are uh, Miss Ursula Esteli, Eduardo Flores, Jennifer Beatriz, Katia Maria, and Susan Carolina. Okay, but Susan Carolina is in a special situation and she is a listener today. So your real partners are Eduardo, Ursula Esteli, Jennifer Beatriz, and Katia Maria. Okay, let's begin asking and answering the questions, please. Okay. I'm sorry, este, yo me acabo de conectar hace ratito porque no me conectaba el audio y casi no le escuché. Entonces okay. le estaba preguntando a mi compañero qué íbamos a hacer. Para ah, el... sorry for the interruption. No, no, no sorry. No, okay, no. here we are working, Miss, um, at page 15. And then you are going to ask and answer these two questions, one another, okay? Ah, okay. Okay. Have you applied for a job uh, position recently? What specific information about your work experience can you provide or give to the interviewers? Or when you apply okay, in the application form for a job, what information about your work experience can you provide? Those are the two questions only. Only that, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Sorry for the interruption. Bye. No problem. Thank you. Okay, my pleasure. Is everything okay here? Yeah. Okay. No problem yeah. with, the, with the questions and answers? No. Okay. Sí, es que lo que pasa es que tenemos que discutir entre nosotros acerca de lo que es la información específica y las posiciones que hemos tenido en este empleo. Ok, ahorita comparto eh, lo mismo. That's correct. Absolutely correct. Hello, class. No problem with the questions. Hello, teacher. No, Hello, no problem. David. Okay. Remember that it is about your your personal information. Yes, about your yes. background, your work experience, and the different positions that you have uh, experience in the different companies. Only that. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Moment. Here for me to reach a goal with a lot of um, co workers. Okay, very good. No sé los demás compañeros. Henry, Catherine, Miguel. Catherine, Beatriz, Miguel Ángel. Eh, hola. Okay, your classmates are okay. waiting for your answers. Eh, yo como ingresé un poquito tarde, pero me gustaría saber 
eh, las preguntas. You have the questions in your book, Miss. And also here we have uh, Edwin, Esaú, Miguel Ángel, Noé Gustavo, Henry Giovanni, Mr. Guillermo Eduardo, and Miss Catherine Beatriz, okay? We are working at page 15, Miss, in your manual. Uh, the questions that uh, we are practicing right now and you need to give an answer is this set of questions, okay? In exercise number one, have you applied for a job position recently? That is the first one. The second one, what specific information about your, your work experience can you provide? These are the two questions. For the ones who joined recently, okay? Page 15, questions in exercise one. Only that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Five more minutes for that activity, then we continue. Okay, who has participated here, Mr. Uh, Guillermo Eduardo? Uh, I already uh -huh. participated. Okay, but who else? Uh, Noé. Okay, Noé and Guillermo, only two participants. And the others, Miguel Ángel, Henry Giovanni, Edwin, and Catherine, please uh, participate, okay? You need to talk, because mm -hmm. remember, this is Inglés para el Trabajo, and specifically, this uh, session is about your work experience and how to apply for a new position. Ah, okay. okay. Eh, ¿Algún compañero para...? Sí. Jennifer. Yes, tell me. Have you applied for a job position recently? Yes, I have. What is the what is specific information about your work experience can you provide? Well, I start at my company as a cashier for one year approximately. Then I work I work as a sales advisor about two years, two years. And then I have three years experience of um, being a sales manager and it's my actual job. Okay. That's it. Thank you. Okay. Um, Ursula. Okay. Hello. Now, who is going to ask the questions to the other partner? Yes, I'm sorry, my internet is not good. Uh, okay. <laughs> Ursula, um, Hi. have you applied for a job position recently? No, I haven't. Okay. And what specific information about your work experience can you provide? Um, <laughs> I think I, I have um, experience about, about um, um, I have 15 years of experience in, in customer service. I I am a good at spreadsheet. I have experience as a supervisor, and I am very responsible. And also, I like to arrive early at work. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. And now, finish teacher. All of you participate and ask and answer. Yes. Ah, Katia and Eduardo and Jennifer and 
And Jennifer and answered. Ah, yes. Okay. Remember that it is an interaction. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's get back to the main session room in order to continue yeah. with our activities. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, yeah. class. Okay. Here yeah. we go. Let's return. Class, I'm going to call your names in order to take your first attendance. Okay, here we go. Miss Ana Cristina Hernández Serrano. Let's see. Ana Cristina. Absent. Okay. Ana Cristina is absent. Andre. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Areli. Isabel. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Areli. Thank you. Carlos Enrique Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Daniel Ernesto. Present. Thank you, Daniel. David Emanuel. Present, teacher. Thank you, David. Daisy Carolina. Daisy Caroline. Mm. Daisy Carolina, I have the idea that I saw her here. Daisy Carolina. Okay. Absent. Um, Edwin Esaú. Present teacher. Thank you. Elizabeth, Miss Carla Minero. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Carla. Evelyn Janilet. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Evelyn. Miss Hilly Bone Menjibar. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Phil Ivonne. Guillermo Eduardo Abrego. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Henry Giovanni. Henry Giovanni. Where are you, Henry Giovanni? Mm. Okay, Henry Giovanni. Jennifer, Miss Jennifer Beatriz Mejia. Present. Thank you. Mr. Juan Eduardo Flores. Here, teacher. Thank you. Catherine Beatriz. Present, teacher. Thank you. Katia Maria de Leon, Elias. Present teacher. Okay. Maritza Elizabeth Martinez. Present. 
Miguel Ángel Santo Cortés. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Noé Gustavo. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Eduardo Meléndez. Presente. Thank you. Oscar Humberto. Oscar Humberto, absent. Reina Elizabeth. Reina Elizabeth. Present. Present. Thank you, Miss Reina. Uh, and that's it. I know. I have the other list. Avon. Rosalie Avon. Present. Thank you, Miss. Sonia Esmeralda. Mauricio. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Susan Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Susan. Ursula Esteli. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Okay, class, activate your cameras. I'm going to take a picture of your attendance. The first group, here we go. Okay, to the count of three, I'm going to take the picture. One, two, three, a nice smile. Today is Monday. And remember, Friday, holiday. You don't work. One, two, three. Great. Nice smiles. I'm going to share it via WhatsApp right now. Yes, this is your group. There you are. Okay, now the second part. The second picture. Uh, for the second part of the group, okay? One, two, three. Everybody, Arely, Reina Isabel, Carlos Enrique, Evelyn Yamilet, Noé Gustavo, Oscar Eduardo, Ursula Esteli, uh, Miguel Ángel, if you please activate the cameras, the others are perfect. The others are perfect with the camera on. Say yes. Thank you, Evelyn. Say yes. Just right now, it is done. And here we go, okay? Thank you. And now, class, we're going to continue with our practice. Notice this information, please. Read this segment, segment of a conversation between an HR representative and a new employee. Remember HR, Human Resources, representative in a new employee. The conversation or, okay, the part of the conversation is between Alan and Blanca. And here, what is your social, here it is missing an R. What is your social security number? It's three, four, five, six, three, two, four, five. Seven eight six five four. When were you born? I was born on July first. Where did you work? I worked in Molsa. What did you do there? I was uh, the evening manager. When did you work there? From twenty o five or from. 2005 to 2011, or from 2005 to 2011, both are acceptable. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA, business, okay? A business administration bachelor's degree. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Many people have hypertension because um, of the, you know, a lot of work. Remember that nowadays we are multitasking, a lot of tasks. That's why they say that I have hypertension and they ask you about this. One more time, what is your social security number? It's 2456632457. 78654. When, when, where, when were you born? I was born on July 1st. Where did you work? I worked in Molsa. What did you do there? 
I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university? University, not university, university. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Now, class, it is the time for you to practice. Two volunteers. One is going to read Alan. The other one is going to read Blanca. Okay? Me, teacher. Thank you. You're going to be Carla. You're going to be Blanca. Okay? Another participant. Come on. You have to participate. Speaking time. Me, teacher. Okay, teacher. Hello? Who said me? I heard two voices. Hi. Who said me, teacher? Me, teacher. Okay. Ah, Andre. Okay, Andre. You read Alan to the count of three. One, two, three. Go for it. What is your social security number? It's three, four, five, six, three, two, four, five, seven, eight, six, five, four. When were you born? I was born on July 1st. Where did you work? I worked in Wilson. What did you there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have a current medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Okay, now we switch. Andre, you are going to read the applicant. Okay, and Miss Carla, you're going to be the human resources representative. You begin, Carla. Go for okay. it. What is your social security number? It's 34. Uh... 56, 32, 45, 78, 65, 4. When were you born? I was born on July 1st. Where did you work? I work at Malsa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a universe, university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Okay, thank you very much. Very well done. So this is what you are going to do in the breakout rooms. You read with a partner and later you switch roles as Mr. Pardo and Ms. Minero did. But only one suggestion. When you say the number of the social secure, it's they say number by number. The same when you say the telephone number. Why? Because they are typing, yes? Or verifying the numbers. Which we usually in El Salvador say the two numbers together as 34, 56, but... They say number by number. That is the only uh, comment. Do teacher. you have any question? Yes. Yes, teacher. In the sentence, I work in Molson, is that correct? Because I think it's at work at Molson. I don't know. Molsa, when you say at Molsa, is more, how can I say, more general. But when you say in Molsa, it means that indoors. But it, it is better to say at Molsa because you don't say it specifically the, the place inside the facilities. Yeah. I worked at Molsa is better. Used at Molsa. Yes, you are correct. And there is one more thing here. What is your social security? I was about to tell you. I was born on July 1st. Of, what did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? 
from? Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yeah, it was about that. That uh, it's better to say at Molsa for me, but here we have in Molsa. Mm -hmm. Any other question about the conversation? No? Okay, listen, you are going to practice this conversation two times and later, the first time as it is. The second time you switch roles as your two classmates did. When you finish that, you are going to read the conversation and answer these questions. What kind of education does Blanca have? What other type of job could Blanca have in the company? You have to explain here based on her experience, what do you think could be a good job position for her in the company, considering her experience? Yes, you're going to discuss as a group number two. And later we're going to discuss it here in the breakout rooms. Are the instructions clear? Yes, teacher, it's clear. Okay. So here I'm going to ask the platform to recreate these groups. Let me see how many people. Okay, I'm going to share with you the invitation. Please join your groups. Okay, Guillermo. No sé a quién se le oye bien feo el ya, micrófono. Se, se me a alguien se le oye bien feo el micrófono. Hello, ¿es mío? Hola. ¿Hola? Hoy, hoy, hoy sí, hoy sí. Hoy, ¿Está bien? Sí. Creo que es el de Evelyn. Hola. Ah, sí. Hola. Yeah. Um, it, is not, it, is, it is not the microphone, it is a background noise. Hay un ruidito por ahí que interfiere. Sí, creo que es de Evelyn, eh. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. okay but, See you. But, but you begin, ok? Practicing the conversation. <laughs> Here you are, yeah. David Emanuel, Guillermo Eduardo, Evelyn, Rosalie. And Yvonne, okay? Yes. Okay, Practice teacher. as much as possible, okay? okay. Hola. Hi. Ahora sí, se escucha mejor. It is three, four, five, six, three, two, four, five, seven, eight, six, five, four. When were you born? I was born on July, July 1st. Where did you work? I worked in Mosa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Okay. Oh. I, I work at Molsa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. 
I have a BB. To 11. Do you have university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medic con continue? Indicho. Yes, I do. I have hypertension. 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 Okay. Siguientes. Hey, Henry Giovanni. Hola, teacher, perdón. Hello. Está fallando. Hola. Hello, hello, we listen to you. We listen perfectly to you, Henry Giovanni. Thank you. Vaya. Y solo que le tuve que desconectar los audífonos porque no problem we listen perfectly ok vaya entonces practica Eduardo y después voy yo why did you search our security number why ah, okay, cool. social security number it's three four five six three two four five seven eight six five four when were you born i was born on july 1st where did you work what did you do there he was avenue manager when did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Okay. Finish, teacher. Yes. Ah, oh, bueno, Daniel está un poco ocupado. No, ya. but I mean, did you switch roles? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. Wow, great. great. <laughs> now you have to answer the questions. Ah, oh, okay. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, finish. Okay, oh, I'm very finish. happy. Yes, we are done. <laughs> no. Okay, about to finish. About, okay? Yes. Yes. Okay. Very well. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Y después volvemos a practicar. Okay. What kind of education does Blanca have? ¿Qué tipo de educación tiene Blanca? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eh, tiene un diploma. <laughs> no, un... Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a diploma. Tiene un diploma. Eh, diploma de, de CBA. Business Administration <laughs> Bachelor Degree. Okay, from the university, DBA. Okay. Okay, come Me? on. What is your social security number? It's three, four, five, six, three, two, four, five, seven, eight, six, five, four. When were you born? I was born on July 1st. Where did you work? I worked, worked in Molsa. What did you do there? 
I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have a hypertension. Okay. Cambiamo. Por favor. What, what is your social security number? It's three, four, five, six, three, two, four, five, seven, eight, six, five, four. When were you born? I was born on July 1st. Where did you work? I worked in malls. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work here, there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Entonces, ahora contestamos la las preguntas. Okay. Yes. Number what one, kind of education does Blanca have? Uh -huh. And uh, I have uh, también si no, me, si no me equivoco. Did you answer the questions, guys? The two questions? Yes, yes? yes. so you are ready. And everybody yes. practice and you switch roles, yes? Okay. okay, excellent. Very well. Give me one minute while I ask the other group so we can return, okay? Thank you so much for your participation. Um. Uh, are you ready, class, to get back to the main session room? Yes, teacher. Okay, you are done. Excellent. We were talking about uh, the homework. Divas? Mm -hmm. Ah, pero ahí viene. <laughs> oh, hello. Did you finish <laughs> the practice and did you answer the two questions? Tenemos una pregunta, teacher. Ok, ask me the question. Es que para responder la pregunta 2 estamos con la duda. ¿Qué significa BBA? Ah, Business Administration Bachelor's Degree. Business, she's a business administrator. Graduated from the university. Uh, the thing is that bachelor stands for licenciado o licenciada. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. okay. Ah, pues sí, entonces, como está hablando de... La caída de objetos desprendidos se dejó, no se va a quitar. 
de administradora de negocios. Es como, Ya, en yeah, este BBA. caso, es, Mm es -hmm. como una licenciada en administración de empresa. ¿no? She is, yes, that's it, because uh, she graduated from the university. Ok. Mm -hmm. Great. Podría ser, Bueno, ah, por ejemplo, la primera, no sé, que podría ser, mira, um, porque si alguien gerente, pensaba que administrativo. Uh, you finished? You answered the two questions? Yes. Okay. Yes, it's here. Okay, let's return then to the main session room. Thank you for participating actively. Very well. Great. Now we're going to work on the following. And we are going to standardize the, the answers to the questions. Yeah? So here, class. Let's see. In number one, what kind of education does Blanca have? Your answer is? She has a university diploma in BBIA. Okay, she has a university diploma on BBA. Yes, based on this information. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. What is the meaning BBA? Business Administration Bachelor. Bachelor from the university means licenciado o licenciada. Okay, a bachelor's degree, diploma de licenciada, business administration. Now, based on this class, what other type of job do you think Blanca could have in the company? Let's explain. Since she is a business administrator, another position that she could apply for Hello? Probably She is a manager. a uh, business manager. Okay. Uh, business manager. That's good. Another one? In the she could work as an accounting and finance. Okay, accounting and finance. Department, yes. Another one. Administrative manager. Administrative, excellent. Administrative manager. Manager. Another one. Teacher, thank you. Manuscrito manager. Thank you. Hi.
please support. Okay, please forgive me. Okay, another one. Could, do you think that probably she could work in the human resources area? Yes, we can. Uh huh. Okay. This is uh, in the project. No. Okay, project human resources. Project. Ah, project, a special project. Yes, special projects. Is there another one? Mm, Sales manager. Uh, also, it could be, why not? Sales manager. Mm, what about uh, company's representative? Yes. Would it be uh, possible? Okay, tell me. One more. She has a lot of opportunities. No es que, perdón, teacher, no sé cómo se dice jefa de área. A manager. Manager. Mm -hmm. Manager. Manager in general in any area. Mm -hmm. Because ah, she's okay. a business. She knows administration a lot. Yeah. Sí. Manager. Yo pre mm -hmm. preguntaba porque en mi caso, por ejemplo, uh -huh. eh, mi jefa es jefa de, del área de iglesia y comunidad mm -hmm. y pues that is why ajá uh -huh, yes that is why manager in any in any company and in any area yes ajá yeah. uh -huh. manager but also sales manager that is specific but manager in general uh -huh. or floor manager also manager or specifically maybe floor manager yes floor manager and uh, probably coordinator. Coordinator, mm -hmm. yeah. Coordinator. And do you think that she could also apply uh, a supervisor? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Supervising the staff? Yes. Supervisor. Okay. And probably others. That's it. Okay. Very well, class. Now... What are we going to do? Here is for you. Ask your classmates questions to complete this job application. For example, in order to get the date of birth, what should be the question? When were you? You have here the information, yes? When were you born? And then here you write what your classmate is going to tell you. I was born on February, for, for example, February 22nd, uh, 20, 2003, for example. Yes, a, a position applied for, and then you say, uh, Manager, sales manager, sales executive, secretary, uh, customer service agent, uh, uh, call center operator, or any other, yeah, engineer, yeah. the position that you are applying for. But in order to listen, in order to um, complete and fill in this application, okay. Because you are going to fill in the information that your classmates are going to tell you. And this is like, a, this is an application form. So you need to consider the employment history, dates of employment. The last one is the first one. Yeah. The one that you have been, the latest is what you are going to write here. Then the second and the first. If you have only worked once in your life, you write it here. The days of employment from from 2020 to 2022, for example. And now I don't have employment. The name of the company, the address, the job title. If you were a sales manager, the CEO, if you were the janitor, the gardener, a driver, a technician, an engineer, uh, the receptionist, I don't know. 
duties here, the activities that you did in that company during this time, the education, degree obtained, degree means uh, the degree is from the yeah. university. Diploma is from high school, yes? And then the institution and the date. Usually we write here, as you know, the most recent one, yes? Acá escribimos el más reciente. Yes? Is that okay? But you're going to do that later on. Hold it, hold it. Because right now, as a first practice, you are going to interview your classmate, creating a real conversation. If I say, uh, David, you're going to be my victim because I see you here. Hi, David. Okay, uh, what is your social security number? It's, uh -huh, baby, your social security number. Mm -hmm. Oh my I, God. I don't, I, I don't, don't know my number. Why not? You have I one. Don't... You have one. You no should. Me lo puedo memoria. <laughs> okay. I know that everybody's going to tell me the same, but you have to use your imagination and you create your security number. Yes, because you're not going to start looking for that and then when were you born here you are going to say i was born on you say the month of the year the day and the year also okay where did you work you write the real places or place where you have worked for example i have worked at where well in my case at Universidad Tecnológica, at ENCCSA, at Inglés Corporativo, to tell you an example, yes? And then, what did you do there? I was a, I was a professor, okay, in English areas and also in some Spanish subjects. When did you work there? And then I write here, from the year on to the year, but this is your real information, reality. Is that okay? Because when you complete this, okay, you are going to have the first information to fill in the application form employment. Is it okay? Yes, class. So consider your real information over here. If it is your first experience, you only say the company that you are working for. If this is your first employment, you mention this company only okay if in your groups in the breakout rooms there are four participants there are two pairs yes for example andre and david andre asks the questions to david david answers with his real information and later david asks the questions to andre and andre answers with his real information only you are going to recreate the security number. Yes? Is it clear? Yes. yes? Okay. Yes, now I'm going yes. to transfer you to the breakout rooms because this is the first part that we need to go over in order to uh, have no problems in the application form. Remember that the objective is that you provide a specific information about your work experience. Okay, I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms right now. Ah, but I'm going to recreate because there are some people who are absent right now. And here we go, let's see. Okay, five, 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 and one group of four. I'm going to open the breakout rooms right now. Here we go. Join, please, if you are so nice. Join to your groups. Great, thank you, I appreciate that. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Okay, Susan and Christy, please. Uh, Anna Christina, you're here. Okay. 
if you wish, you can join the groups only as listeners because otherwise you are going to lose the minutes of attendance, girls. Okay. Thank you for being here. Entonces, este, es de llenarlo con la información person, o sea, real de cada uno de nosotros. Por ejemplo, yo comienzo con, con este link a preguntarle este, la posición para ser aplicado, el nombre, la dirección, el teléfono y sobre todo lo donde dice la historia de, 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 los, de los empleos anteriores. Ok. Pero eh, primero hay que contestar las preguntas de la página 15 con nuestra información. X seven six six one three two uh five one. Uh, when were you born? I was born on July thirty. Where where did you work? In what I worked in Jongwang. Uh, what did you do there? Um, I was the employee in Tewin. Uh, when did you work there? From from two thousand two thousand twenty two to thousand twenty three. Do you have the university diploma? No, I do. I do don't. You have, do you have any uh, chronic medical condition? No, I don't. Okay. Okay, ahora me toca. Okay. What is your number phone? Uh, phone it number? Is it is a seven two five nine zero zero six two. When were you born? Mm, I, I was born uh, I was uh, I am a, a customer service representative. When did you work there? Um, actually, I worked there since 2017 to uh, 2023. Do you have a university diploma? Mm, no, I don't. Do you have any chronic medical condition? No, I don't. Voy a entrenar. Okay.
Okay, Maritza, uh, what is your social security number? It's one, two, zero, nine, four, two, three, eight, five. Date, date of employment. Del más, el más reciente al más viejito. Del empleo más reciente al más viejito. Sí, yes. Day of employment. Yo creo que está en venta, ¿verdad? Porque dijo que... E ese es el espacio. El, ese, el, ella estaba aplicando a gerente de ventas, entonces puede Ajá, ser que esté correcto. en ventas. Ah, vaya, ahorita vamos a poner. Listen, the information that you have to fill in is your real information, not the one that is in the book. It's your real information. Is uh, teacher is real information that Jennifer? Okay, but uh, you are practicing with Sonia, with Jennifer, or with Edwin? Uh, with Jennifer. Okay, so you have you need to have Jennifer's information. Jennifer needs to have your information. Edwin needs to have Sonia's information, and Sonia must have Edwin's information. Yes? Wow, because yeah. the instruction, I'm going to, to read again the instructions for you. Okay, here. Let's see. First, you have to practice a conversation but using your real information. When you have this information, you switch. And then you go over here, the completion of this application. Ask your classmates questions to complete this job application, yes? But you only have one job application. If you are working with Jennifer, you need to have here her information. And Jennifer is going to complete this application with your information. And the other way around with Edwin and Sonia. Okay. Okay. Because when okay. you get when we get back to the main session room, you are going to practice this conversation with your real information. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay, thank you. Let's continue. Number five. Is everything clear about the activity, people? Uh, Carla, your partner is Eduardo, uh, Catherine, or Miguel? We didn't choose yet. We just write it right now the, the application. No, but listen, you have to, for example, if you work with Miguel, you are going to fill in the, the application form with his information. And he is going to write the application form with your information. Because when you ask the question, you are the representative of the human resources. Yes? And you ask the question and you complete with the potential employees information. We, we were writing our own information. Okay, but then you create the, the, okay, continue like that. Yes. Okay, you know how you, but remember, when we get back, you need to practice that conversation, okay, that you, for example, interview Miguel and Miguel interviews you. This is just an example, okay? Continue. Okay, Oops. okay continue. See you because they need me in another group. Será posible que me permita compartir pantalla para Yes, of course you should. Por favor. No, yes, you can do it. Eh, no, dice que está que really? usted ha deshabilitado la, ajá, 
que los participantes compartan la pantalla. No. <ríe> no hay problema, oh, gracias. No, no. The thing is that if you were here at the beginning, I was like, what's this? Because I think that the academy has updated because it, yes. Ok. Ahí está. Hoy sí, ya, ya me dejó. Ajá. Ahí está, perfecto. Yeah, because it was, it is the first time. Ok. But, <laughs> thank you for telling me. In my mind, it was as every day. But now <laughs> it is different. They have programmed it thank in a different you. way. Ok, no problem. Bye. Okay, we will continue. Okay, okay, Edwin, do you want to, to answer my questions? My number, do we? Sir, sir, you three eight three. Así, eh, no, eight. Mm. Okay, and okay. when did you work there? Um. 2005 to 2023. Okay, and um, do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a in in I don't know how. In the industrial engineer. Just that's that's it. Okay. Engineer. And do you have any any chronic medical condition? No, I don't have. Okay. We finish or something creo que Ursula me es el límite que tenía que preguntar a mí. Yo tengo que preguntar aquí a mí para que me haga más el ciclo. Para que terminemos todo, si tendré que preguntarle usted mm -hmm. algo. Ah, ah, gracias. Ah, ok. Yeah. What is your social security number? Mamá, papá, mamá. Mamá, hello. Mamá, hello. I'm sorry, I can hear you. Could you repeat me? What? Could repeat. you repeat the number, please? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Zero, three, four, one, four, Seven, one, seven, seven. Okay, thank you. When were you born? I was born on December 2nd. Okay, where did you work? I work in laboratories five. And what did you do there? And I was the assistant document. Document assistant, eh, Rosalina. Oh, yeah. Document assistant. Document assistant. 
when did you work there? From um, 20, 2019? To 20, what's the last fecha? 2023. 2023. Uh-huh. 2023. Do you have a, a university diploma? No, I don't have. Do you have any chronic medical condition? No, I don't have. Okay, we finish. And what about Oscar and Katia? Uh, it is their turn. Uh, hello. Mm -hmm. Finish. You finish. finish. Okay, and you have the conversation. Yes. Ready. Yes. And did you fill in the, the application form? Yes. No. 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 <laughs> ah, okay. So that is the second, because when you are at the interviewing, for example, Katia interviews Oscar Eduardo. When he answers your questions, uh, you are going to complete the, the form. Yes. Okay. And okay. then you switch, and later Rosalie no. and Ursula. Okay. Okay. Sure. I understand. Hello, class. Did, Did you finish? finish? Yes, Evelyn. Yes. Did you finish yes, the conversation teacher. and also did you complete the, the form, the application form? Mm. Mm. Solo la conversación, teacher. No sabíamos que, okay. o sea, no entendimos que íbamos a hacer. Okay, okay. No, but the important yes, thing is, no, listen. The important thing is that you have this information in the conversation. And then it is going to be easier for you, okay, to go over this because you have that information. And okay. also uh, uh, because you have to complete this, okay. So right now we're going to return and some of you are going to practice and we are going to clarify and later we get back, okay. So everybody can go okay. over the description of the application for employment. Okay, so here, thank you. And we're going to listen to some of your conversations.
Okay, here we're going to practice a little bit your conversations. Later, you're going to return in order to complete the completion of the uh, employment, okay? So, um, do we have volunteers to share the conversation? To share the conversation, if, if, if one of you is the human resources representative of one company and the other one, the potential employee. Who wants to try? Okay, who would like to try to practice the conversation? Remember, you have to practice. I know. I'm going to choose them. Um, Hi. <laughs> okay, Edwin and Saúl. Yeah, you and your partner is? Who is your partner? Jennifer. Okay, Miss Jennifer, get ready. Is she here, Jennifer? Oh, yes, I'm here. Okay, because... okay great. Who okay. starts, Edwin or Miss Jennifer? Me. Okay. Edwin, Me. Uh, what is your social security number? It's a zero eight nine three eight four three. Okay. When were you born? September. Mama. Mama, Mama. Where did you work? Petinati. What did you do there? Production area. When did you work there? 2006 and 2007. Mama. Okay, do you have a university diploma? No. And do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, asthmatic. That's it. Teacher, so okay. <laughs> uh -huh. okay, thank you. Now let's switch. Edwin, you interview Miss Jennifer. In the microphone, Edwin. Uh-huh, karma. I'm sorry. Mama. Jennifer. Mama. What is your Mama. social security number? Mama. It's zero five six zero two seven Mama. five one. Three. Don't no, were you born? No. I was born on October eighth, no. eighteenth, um, one hundred. Um, I'm sorry, one thousand nine hundred ninety-seven. When? Where did you work? In televisores, Argeta. What did you there? I work as a sales advisor. When did you work there? From 2018 to 2020. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have an electric engineering. Do you have uh, any chronic medical? No, I don't. Okay. Thank you very much. Very well done. One thing for everybody, and that is why it is important to uh, practice in front of the class. Last century, okay, now we say 2020 or 2020, but a last century we say, for example, uh, 1995, yes? Or we say 1999, yeah? Or we say 1845, yeah? We don't say 1995, no. 18, eh, 
1989, 1995, or 18, 1880, for example, or 1980s, or 1965. Yes, that's the way we read it. And right now, I'm going to ask maybe, I don't know if Miss Carla is ready with his or her partner. Hello, Miss Minero. Are you ready with the conversation or not yet? Yes. And your partner is? Um. Forgot the name. Sorry. Um, Andre, you are you are her partner. Uh, <clears throat> not to share, but is the same team. Okay, no problem. You can practice. Okay, Miss Carla, you are the human resources representative, and Mister. Oh. Pardo is the potential employee. You interview him. Uh, hello. hello. Uh, can you tell me what position are you applying for? Can you repeat this? Can you tell me what position apply for? Uh, <clears throat> I apply a position for a cup technician. Can you tell me your name and your last name, please? No te escucho bien. Can you tell me your name? Uh, my name is Andre. And what is your last name? Pardo. Okay. Uh, what is your address? Uh, my address is Calle Iberos, edificio de apartamento 3, San Salvador. What is your phone number? My phone number is 7101725. Okay. What is your date of birthday? Um, my birthday is November 26. And what is your social security number? Uh, my social security number is three six zero six seven seven eight. Do you have a driver's license? Yes, I have. Can you tell me about your employment history, please? Mm. Um, I worked in the Avianca to 2018 to 2019. Actually, I work in Ironman in El Salvador. Uh, what did you do at Avianca? Uh, <clears throat> I did I was a um, supervisor. And how about Iron Man? What did you do? Uh, I am technician. Okay. Can you tell me about your education, please? Uh, I have a diploma uh, of TMA, Technician Maintenance Director. Where did you study? I study technician maintenance archive. That's the name of the, the, the school? Uh, no, the school is Indoamericana, in Colombia. Do you study uh, something else? Yes. What did you study? Uh, I study Merchandising, like business merchandising, no, business marketing. 
which which is an institution did you study that? Uh, in the UPTC. Where, sir? University. Ah, uh, sí, Pedagógica. Ah, in. Can you tell me the dates that you study at Pedagogica? In 2015, approximately. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, class. Congratulations. Thank you so much to the two groups. Because in the first one, they practice the conversation, the original conversation, but with the real information. In conversation number two, we listen to the conversation that you're going to carry out in order to complete the, okay, this document, the application form. So you have listened, your partners practice the two versions. This one was first. And then this one. I'm going to call your names for your attendance, okay? And then I'm going to ask you to return to the breakout rooms so you can go over with the completion of the form. Let's say, uh, Esteli, Ursula Esteli. Hello, Present. Ursula. Present. Okay, Present. thank Present. you. Present. Susan Carolina. Susana. Susana Carolina. Okay, absent. Present, teacher, present. Okay. Hi, okay, thank you. I didn't see you. Sonia Esmeralda. Sonia. Present, teacher. Thank present. You, Sonia. Rosalie Bon. Rosalie, Miss Rosalie. Mama, Papa. Present. Thank you, Miss Rosalie. Then here, Miss Reina Elizabeth Garcia. Present. Thank you, Reina. Okay. Ana Cristina. Miss Ana Cristina. Okay. Andre. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Then we have Areli. Areli. Present Sarah. teacher. Thank you. Dani, Daniel Ernesto. Present. Thank you, Daniel. David Emanuel. Present. Thank you, sir. Daisy, are you here, Miss Daisy? Absent today. Edwin Esaú. Here, teacher. You're here, thank you. Uh, Elizabeth. Miss Carla is here. Present. Miss Evelyn Jamilet. Present. Great. Miss Yvonne. Menjiva Gil Yvonne. Yvonne. So she has been here. Gil Yvonne, but at this moment she's not here. Okay. Next one. Guillermo Eduardo. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Henry Giovanni. Giovanni, are you back? Okay. Giovanni, you have been having problems with your connectivity, Giovanni. Jennifer, Miss Jennifer yes, Beatrice. Present, teacher. Thank you, both of you. Okay, great. Next one, Juan Eduardo. Present, teacher. Okay, Mr. Flores, thank you. Miss Catherine Beatrice Reyes. Present teacher. Okay, great. Thank you, Giovanni. Katia Maria de Leon Elias. Present Kat teacher. Thank you, Miss Katia. Maritza Elizabeth Martinez. Present. Miguel Angel Santos. Present teacher. Thank you. Noé Gustavo. Present, teacher. Great. Oscar Eduardo Meléndez. Present. Thank you. 
Oscar Humberto. Absent. And Reina Elizabeth. Okay, class. Now you know what to do and how to do it, okay? I'm going to transfer you and you interview your classmates and you go over the completion of the application form. Here we go. Join your groups, please. Catherine Beatriz. Catherine, do you remember your partners? No, Catherine. Okay, Catherine, go to group number four. I'm sending you the invitation right now. Miss Catherine, please. Okay, we Richard. have just a couple of minutes. Yes, sir. Richard, I have a question. Yes, Mr. Andre, tell me. Okay. What is the purpose of the Mejorita? Excuse me, say it again. The no, purpose of no uh, what is the purpose for the Ah, you are going to everybody must practice the conversation that you had with Miss Carla. Okay. Because everybody must complete the application form. Yes? Okay. Okay, that is the, the purpose of this um, moment's activity. Okay. okay. So go to your groups because we only have about 10 minutes to finish the class. Just a show about, David, about 10, actually 12 minutes. Okay, teacher. Solo que se me fue la invitación, teacher. No oh, really? Hi, David. Okay, listen, I'm going to move you to one group and then I'm going to return you to your group. David, you are in group number four. So I'm going to move you to group number three and then I return you, yeah? Okay. okay, go to group number number three and Thank then you come back you. to group number four. Thank you, Victor. Okay, my pleasure. David. Okay, here. Okay, Sonia. Remember. Ahorita es la de. Este. Porque como es, es como similar a lo que. Al, a la experiencia. Va, uh -huh. entonces. Este. Dani. 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 Okay. 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 obtenidos sería desde el bachillerato. Primero es en la universidad, el bachillerato y el último eh, escuela. Pero, pero dijo. In this group, you are complete, Miss Carla. Carla, Miguel Ángel, Catherine, y, and Eduardo. You are the same group. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sí. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go over the completion, okay? Sí. I come back. Okay, you are back. Great. Complete the form. Continue, Catherine. Uh -huh. Catherine. Hola. What? Teacher, eh, una pregunta. Ahorita lo que vamos a hacer es el cuadrito, ¿verdad? 
Yes, you complete, but you, but you, yes, but you interview your classmates. Okay, thanks. And you write what he or she is telling you. Okay. Okay. The company. Omega Company. Omega Company. And the address um, of the company. Eh. San Miguel. Okay. Um, pero si tiene alguna duda puede, puede decir cuál, la, cuál es la duda y así le ayudamos. Yes. Do you have any question about the activity? Mm, no, teacher. Mm. Okay. Hello, Henry Giovanni. Henry Giovanni. Yeah, uh, teacher. And do you know what they are doing? Sorry? Do you know what the class is doing? What we are working on? We are working on this, okay? We are working on the completion of this form. Is that okay? And they are asking and answering questions. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, date when were you born, position applied for, the name, the address, phone number, sex, male, female, or date of birth. Social security number, driver's license. Do you have a driver's license? Yes or no? Yes. And here your employment history about the days of employment, name of the company, address, job, duties, the education, degree obtained, institution, and date. And that's it. Okay. 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 Um, The date is 2022. Manager. He's a manager. Okay. What is the duties? Um, customer service. Only that. Yeah, inventory too. Control. Mm -hmm. um, only. Okay. What is your education? Um, middle education. I was um a student at the university two years. 
una universidad tecnológica. Uh -huh. eh, date of birth. Um, uh, April 24, sí. 1975. Okay, driver's license. Yes, they have. Yes. Uh, is history. Name of company was PBS, ¿verdad? Yes, PBS. Address, San Salvador. Yes. Job, job title. Customer service. Okay. And education, degree obtained. Um, industrial engineer. Institution. Um, beauty. A L A. Almost finished, people. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, kind teacher. of. Okay, great. Miss Sonia Esmeralda, I have a question for you. Sonia? I don't know question. I have a question for you. Okay. I have a question for you. Okay. Is that the only question? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, would you mind staying with me 10 minutes after the class? Today uh, for the one on one session. Puede mm. quedarse a la sesión ah, de uno a yes, uno. Yes. Okay, that yes. was my question. Because it is it is time to say goodbye, Miss. And some of you didn't didn't uh, finish the the completion because it is a lot of information. Yes, from you, okay. from your side. Okay, thank you, Miss Sonia. You're okay. going to stay with me. And right now we're going to get back, okay, to the main session room. And tomorrow we continue as a feedback with this information. We're going to review this, okay. Now let's return. Okay. Thank you. Because it's fine. Okay, let's wait for the other partners. Let's wait the other partners because they are still working in their groups. But in, let me see, in 15 seconds, they will be back. Okay, let's activate the cameras so I can take the picture for the last attendance today. And thank you so much, people, okay? For your uh, your perseverance, your responsibility. And here we go to the count of three, but a smile, please. Hey, David, a smile, a nice smile. One, okay, uh, we're going to take the picture right now, guys. One, two, three, say yes. Great. Okay, I'm going to share the picture right now.
via WhatsApp with you guys here. Okay. There we are in class. Thank you so very much for joining and continue working on the platform, please, okay? Today for the one-on-one -on -one session, Ms. Sonia Esmeralda is going to stay with me. I wish you sweet dreams and, you know, sleep as a baby. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Take care. As a baby, they say babies don't sleep. Babies don't sleep. Bye-bye. Take care. See you tomorrow. Okay. Miss Sonia is staying with the teacher. Bye-bye. Goodbye, teacher. Goodbye. Go on working the, on the platform. Continue working on the platform. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Have a good night. Okay, Miss Sonia, thank you for giving me your time. Okay, teacher. Okay, we're going to practice. Bye-bye, Carlos Enrique. Have a good night, Edward. Okay, Miss, here we go. That we're going to take advantage of the connectivity. Yeah. Let's see. We're going to practice, first of all, this conversation. Yeah. And okay. I am Alan and you are Blanca. Here we go. Okay. What is your social security number? It's three four five six three two four five seven eight six five four. When were you born? I was born on July first. Where did you work? I work in Molsa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From two thousand two thousand five to thousand eleven. To two thousand eleven. To two thousand eleven. Excellent. Do you have any a uh, university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Oh, you have a hypertension. Okay. Thank you. Now we switch. You are Alan and I am Blanca. Okay. Um, what is your social security number? Oh, it's three four five six three two four five seven eight six five four when were you born i was born on july 1st where did you work i worked in Molsa. what did you do there i was uh, the evening manager what did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any cro chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Okay. Um, the only thing is that we say three. Three, three, three. Interdent no, three is a mango tree, three. Three. The tongue goes between the teeth, three. Three. Excellent. Three. Uh -huh. three. three, very well. Six. Six. Uh-huh, because if you say sick, oh, I am sick, I have the fever, okay? Six, and that's it. That's six. the only situation, excellent. So okay. here we have this other conversation between Julio and Ana. I am okay. Julio, you are Ana. Tell me about your work experience. I work at Unilever for five years. Actually, I work or oh, I work in uh -huh. this company from uh, 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was just for a short 
pe period of time. I was youth for eight months until my project my uh, project was done. Then I come back to El Salvador. And uh, you have not worked since you came back. Not really. I have done some even independent independent job. You know, but they have not been for long. Okay. Now let's switch. I am Anna. You are Julio. Okay. Tell me about your work experience. I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what, ha and what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. It was just for eight months until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you have no worker since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Okay, Miss, repeat after me until here. Until. 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 For eight months. For eight months. I worked uh, I worked at Unilever. I worked at Unilever. I worked at Unilever. I worked at Unilever. No, I worked at Unilever. I worked at Unilever for five years for five for five years actually actually I worked I worked in this company in this company from 2011 for 2011 no from 2011 pardon, pardon. from 2011 to 2016 to 2016 I quit I quit because I was offered because I was offered a new job in Panama a new job in Panama and what happened there and what happened where what happened there what happened there it was just for a short period of time. Y what ya? ¿Cómo se dice? It, listen. It, it was just. It was just. For a short for, period of time. For a short period of time. Very well. It was just for eight months. It was chat for eight months until my project was done. Until my project was done. Then, then I came back to El Salvador. I came back to El Salvador. And you have not worked since you came back. And you have and you have not worked since you since 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 you came back came back came back not really not really I have done I have done some independent jobs some independent jobs you know you know but they have not been for long but they have not been for long okay miss thank you so much for giving me your time okay and letting me help you just a little but i think it was good the practice okay have you been working on the platform yes uh, uh, see 
pero no había comenzado a trabajar las, las, las tareas, pero sí mañana comienzo porque había tenido inconvenientes para la entrada a la plataforma, pero ya, ya está. Ok, everything fine. Hasta hoy, hasta hoy logré, ajá, hasta hoy entré, pero ya, ya, ya pude entrar. Ok, great. If you have any problem, let me know, ok? Thank you so much. Okay. Have a good night. Sleep well and see you tomorrow. Bye okay, bye, Sonia. Yes. See you. Bye bye. 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 My pleasure. Bye bye. Bye bye.